Nato è tutto per dire. Morning, you guys. So hopefully by now your world is beginning to look a little bit more stylish. Um, we're in week three now, um, and um, hopefully you've got your colour palettes sorted out. Um, and you're shopping from that colour palette and you know what colours suit you. Um, today we're going to deal with something which is really important to you, is your clothing personality, of which there are only four. Magazines will tell you what suits you, but you know what suits you. I mean, obviously, I mean, when I'm styling younger people, um, you do have to sort of tweak the rules a little bit. And I'm sure you know that things like hemlines have to go a little bit further down. You can't wear mini skirts when you're 50 plus, like you would in your 20s. And um, certain sleeves may not be good for you. And necklines as well. But in the main, you do have to suit your clothing personality. And it's my firm belief that your clothing personal personality doesn't change from when you're 20 to you're 70. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about clothing personalities and hopefully style bunnies you will identify now as you're getting more and more um, stylish and um, know the rules of style, you'll identify which ones are you. You may be not just one, most people are a mixture of two or three and you might not have any of one style at all in you. Um, for example, I don't have any classic in me whatsoever. And I'm, but I'm almost 50% girly um, and 25% dramatic and 25% natural. So let's talk a little bit about the um, clothing personalities. There are only four, as I said. So the first one is a classic. Now, the best way of illustrating this is to tell you um, just align each personality with a star that you would all know. So a classic star would be. Victoria Beckham. These are very for very neat people. Um, they have neat bodies, neat hair, um, and, and they look good just without any accessories. Um, for example, a classic style on me would be boring. It would be too boring for me. But on somebody like um, Victoria Beckham, she just needs a neat suit, nice um, lines, clean cuts, um, and that would suit her. So very often, we tend to look at these women in magazines and oh, that looks good on her, so it must look good on me. Not the case, I'm afraid. If you're not a classic, it won't look good on you. Partic anything that looks good on Victoria Beckham probably won't look good on you. So I, I don't have any percent of classic in me at all. So the next um, a clothing personality is dramatic. Most people would never be 100% dramatic. That would be far too much, if you can imagine, for anyone. But there you have um, a dramatic, I mean, Helena Bonham Carter would be a great um, character for the clothing personality for you to understand the dramatic personality. Now, she probably could do 100%. Um, but I have, you know, 25% of dramatic because of my personality, because of my scale. Um, and I have to have a little bit of drama in my clothing wear. And that really comes out on things like dramatic collars, um, dramatic buttons. Um, I'm going to show you some clothing in a minute, which I'll show you a particular jacket. It's got zips all over it. Um, and you have to have a little bit of drama to match your personality. So if you don't have any dra dramatic in you, that would just literally swamp you. Bold prints, zips on clothes would just literally swamp you and it would look ridiculous. So let's go on to girly, which is my main clothing personality. It's really like tight-fitting pencil skirts, figure-hugging, um, shirts with the buttons done down to the cleavage, probably. Quite tight-fitting shirts, not loose-fitting shirts, whereas a classic would have a very nicely tailored shirt. Um, figure-hugging dresses, if, uh, high heels suit a girly personality. So, moving on to the final clothing personality, it's a natural. Now you'll know if you're a natural um, style bunnies, but if you, now let's put a scenario, if you're dancing late at night at a party, do you take your shoes off <laughs> or 
or do you dance in your stiletto? If you feel that you, you would definitely be the sort that's dancing barefoot at a party, you would be a natural. So somebody that really exudes the personality, the clothing personality of a natural, I would say somebody like Julia Roberts. Um, I think she's uh, got a large percentage of natural clothing personality in her. So let's move on. I'm going to show you some examples of clothing just to uh, once again really get home these clothing personalities. As most of my wardrobe is made up of a girly, then um, hopefully I've managed to pick some bits for you that probably, probably aren't quite right for me and I don't really wear that often. Okay, so let's move on to the clothing rail. Oh, while I'm standing here, let me show you these, uh, they're Derek Lamb uh, jeans that I just bought in LA. Now this would illustrate the perfect um, uh, trousers for me, mainly because the fit is girly, because they're tight and accentuate my curves. Then we've got the drama of the flare at the bottom. So the flares are actually quite dramatic. They can be very nat natural, but as you can see, I'm wearing them with heels, which makes them more dramatic. And of course, the detail with the buttons on the hips is a real dramatic accent. And the texture is denim, so you've got the natural in it as well. So for me, these are probably the perfect trousers for me and my clothing personality. And I actually do get so many compliments when I wear them. So then I know that they're the right trousers for me. Okay, right, we talked about the classic. So a classic would be like a simple Dolce and Gabbana suit, normally like in a neutral shade. Um, and it's just clean cut lines and a simple trouser to go with it. That would just be a classic. I mean, I would need something extra like a tight fitting waistcoat underneath that or a scarf um, or something else or a big brooch on there to liven it up for me. It would be too boring on its own. Okay, so let's show you how that basic classic cut, if you've got a percentage of dramatic in it, you can actually just change that by making it into a tuxedo jacket. Um, this has got um, <coughs> satin lapels, adds a little bit more drama to it and this cut is actually much more girly it's much more fitted jacket it doesn't hang like a male tuxedo it's got a waist on it and this is very dramatic if you've got a larger percentage of, of drama in you this is this is actually last season versace collection but the zips are very dramatic I mean, this is very good for me. Um, the the colour, obviously, black is not good for me, but I'd wear it with my um, palettes underneath that. But can you imagine if you were a classic and you came out in all these zips, it just wouldn't go with your personality. But for me, I need a little bit of drama. As I am a drama queen. <laughs> okay. So here's an example of a dress that's very girly. As you remember, I'm 50% girly. It's very figure hugging. And if you remember from last week, well, from week two, the colour is my double star colour, orange. And I have my little 20, 25% of drama with a big gold zip there, right in the middle. Can you imagine if that neckline was just round and plain? It would be too, not enough for me. So the neckline's perfect. And we're going to be doing necklines um, in, in a couple of weeks down the line. But this is a very, very good dress for me. Okay. This is just really helping you to identify what I mean by the different styles. So this, for example, would be a natural. And a lot out there might be very happy, like beach boho, very natural, natural fabrics. Denim is a great natural fabric, um, beiges and taupes and different tones on that is great for a natural personality. So, I mean, that looks good. And, and many of you have probably, I've got some natural in you somewhere. Okay. So 
This is high drama. <laughs> I mean, this is probably too much drama for me and I have to confess, I've never worn this and it's been in my wardrobe for about five years. <laughs> but this is too, probably too much drama for me. The drama is in the sleeves, the way they're cut, if you can see how they are cut and they hang. It's a very dramatic print and the silver's quite bold. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece, but if I'm honest with you guys, this is probably a mistake purchase for me. This is girly dramatic without a doubt. There's no classic, no natural in this. Even on the back, <laughs> it's an extremely dramatic piece. It certainly will get you noticed. But if you don't have any drama or any girly in your clothing personality, it's gonna look tragic. Okay, so the cut's very clingy. You have the dramatic sequins are always drama. It's the velvet texture. I don't know if that's coming across on camera. That's a very dramatic. You have to have a large part of drama and girly in your chart for that. And oh, by the way, girls, if you're we're talking fifty plus here. That, that honestly you would wear that with leggings probably if you're 50 plus, but it would, could still look good. And here's a lovely girly jacket. The gold thread through it makes it more dramatic. But this is a girly cut rather than a classic cut. I mean, it's short, it's cinched in at the waist and it's padded on the shoulders and it's got a little frill cut around the shoulder. It's a pinched cut and it's got a lovely deep shawl collar. So that's not a classic jacket, that's a girly jacket with a hint of drama because of the print um, and there's gold thread running all through that. So that, that, look, that looks great and the colour gets away from those boring colours. So that's a great Chanel type jacket. And last but not least, because I wear this all the time, <laughs> Although this is quite, it's like a natural caftan, because I, I only have a small percent of natural in me. It's also very girly with the cinched in drawstring waist. And it also has a small hint of drama because of the cut of the sleeves. The sleeves are quite a dramatic cut. But I love wearing this over a bikini around the pool. But it also looks great in the evening with some white jeans. It's also a good colour for me, and it's a great buy. So that's um, the clothing around, some examples of different clothes, uh, so that you yourself can ascertain um, what clothing personality you've got most in your wardrobe, because normally your intuition is really right on this. Although, once again, I would advocate that you do go to a stylist to try and ascertain which clothing personality you fall into. Because also that can dictate your accessories that you need to wear as well, and your shoes um, and your handbags. Um, but we will be dealing with accessories at a later date, so subscribe so you don't miss that one because it all does go together. Well, I've taken you through um, a few of these clothing types today, but remember you can get away with a lot when you're 16. But when you get into your 50s and beyond, then it really does need to be tapered down. When, when your head starts looking older than your body, you know, you know that there's something wrong. Um, you do want to avoid looking um, like mutton dressed as lamb. But your clothing personality doesn't change. But girls, remember those necklines and those hemlines and, and you won't go far wrong, I promise you. So stylists, as that completes the masterclass for this week. Um, so next week's masterclass is going to be on scale um, and that um, really brings in the scale of your accessories, whether they should be small, medium and large. We'll show you how to work that out. Also takes into consideration um, the scale of your print, should they be small or large. It's really interesting. Tune in. So next Wednesday we'll launch that masterclass. Um, so subscribe star bunnies and here's to a super stylish week jojo making your world more stylish by the week <laughs>